It's time we speak up today and ask the Lord our needs and our requests. Let's make it be known to Him tonight. Matthew 10 and 1, Jesus called His twelve disciples to Him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and heal every disease and sickness. We have the authority tonight in His name. The devils in hell tremble at the name of Jesus. Matthew 10 and 5, these twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Pray in will willingness. We've got to want to tonight. We need to change our lenses. We need to stop looking at the outward and look at what God sees. And He sees the out. I mean, He sees the inward man tonight. Matthew 9 and 36. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless, like a sheep without a shepherd. We need to step out and serve. We need to feel the needs of other people. Hebrews 6 and 10. God is not unjust. He will not forgive your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help him. He will forgive you tonight. And he will forget the past, but all we've got to do is allow him to. All we've got to do tonight is want to make that difference. Galatians 6 and 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at a proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. If we don't give up tonight, our reward will be with him tonight. A recipe for unfaithfulness. One does not break faith with God overnight, but one breaks faith as a result of the work of a conspiring heart. The Lord is always on people's lips, but not in their hearts. We only seek the Lord in times of trouble, and this is due to pride and the breaking of faith. Come on. The breaking of faith is an error. God will ruin our pride. One does not break faith with God overnight, but it happens as a result of the work of a comprising heart. It should start with a view of discontentment or unhappiness or disdain, contempt. With the example of the maid stealing from her boss, the sin did not start from when she found the card and the code. It started a brewing of the sense of entitlement. The big struggle is not sin but anger against God, a sense of entitlement. These are all waiting for the right time to explode in a fragrant sin. We should examine our heart to see what's brewing within us. One who conspires to turn against God will conspire to turn again. The plot against the prophet. Are you conspiring against a prophet with a plot of slander? If you whine against God's messengers, remember that he is there to tell you what God wants. When you conspire against God's me messengers, you are not far, far from conspiring with, against God. It is important to remind ourselves daily of the goodness of God until our hearts are won again by these truths. Just begin. I have faith in God tonight and know that no matter what you're going through tonight, God can turn it around. God's a forgiving God tonight. And God will forgive you. The harvest is plenty, but the labor is a few. If God's calling you tonight to do something for Him, do it and obey tonight. This is the altar call song. Nice as we've come to praise Him.